Hello, I am Jacob. I'm the host of the show. Thank you for watching, commenting, and subscribing, and just being a part of what we do here. So, the draft is over. A lot of the undrafted free agents have been signed. But let's first get into the news that started before the draft. Like, the Colonels picked up Kyler Murray's fifth-year option. The Jaguars did the same thing except with Jared Allen. I mean, Josh Allen, excuse me. But the New York Giants decided, we're not doing it with Daniel Jones. We have to still see if he can prove it. And he hasn't. Makes a whole lot of sense. The 49ers uh, also picked up Joey Bosa's fifth year option. So, a lot from going on from that department. Ex Steelers quarterback Devin Duck Hodges has decided to retire. At, under circumstances we really don't know, he wasn't going to really be given a starting gig anyways. It was just the way it happened. It's unfortunate, but sometimes it is the way it is. The 49ers, before the draft, see that they wanted two first-round picks for Debo Samuel. After the draft, we've already seen some pl premium players go off the board, which we'll talk about in a future video, of who went and for how much. Right now, Debo Samuel is still a 49er. The Patriots traded with the Texans. The Patriots get got number 183 and number 245, where the Texans got number 170. The Broncos re-signed Melvin Gordon to a one-year $5 million contract. It's probably a little less than that, probably heavily incentive based, but a great job to keep him around. The Lions picked up tight end TJ Hawkinson's fifth year option, which, again, a great move on their behalf. Don't have to pay him right away, it works. Jaguars and Cam Robinson agreed to terms on a three year. $54 million extension. It's a good job on their behalf to keep him around. Try and build an offensive line around Trevor Lawrence. This was news before and after the draft. The New York Giants are shopping Darius Slayton. The Giants are not thrilled by Tony and Slayton's production over the last two years and seeing if they could find an actual trade partner. We'll see. The Bucks picked up Devin White's fifth year option. He's a great linebacker, keep him around. And the Commanders picked up Monte Montez Sweat's fifth year option as well. Good job on their behalf. And also, to finish off, the Titans picked up Jeffrey Simmons' fifth year option. So a lot of options were picked up because we're near the end of the of that period, and all these teams know exactly what they're doing. Keep these best players around as much as possible. 